Storm Shield weather, certified most accurate. Hey, good evening, everyone. We had a pretty quiet evening here, but our chaser, J.C. Reynolds, was out in Woods County near Freedom, Oklahoma. And look what he captured on camera, a tornado touching down. This was about 6 o'clock in the evening when it touched down, and then it quickly dissipated. So a great shot there from... Um, from JC. All right, more pictures coming in this afternoon as the thunderstorms were moving through. Sarah Roberts took this one in over downtown Tulsa. And then we had this as the thunderstorms were moving away. Michelle Wright took this picture of the double rainbow at Muskogee. And JF Stark took a picture of this cloud. He calls it an iCloud since he took it with an iPhone. So a little humor he injected into that for the night. It was a nice evening, and really outside, all things considered. Out to the west, thunderstorms from Ponca City towards Stillwater and west of I-35. And for the most part, as they try to move to the east, they're going to weaken. And so we might see a little bit of rain overnight, but not a whole lot. We need some rain. We only had a tenth of an inch at Tulsa today. Elsewhere, just a trace of an inch. And uh, Bartlesville, four tenths of an inch of rainfall. So mostly cloudy right now outside. The temperature sits at a humid 73 degrees. The winds are out of the south at 20 miles an hour. Nice, fresh, southerly wind. And again, just a little bit of light rain overnight. Maybe a peaceful rumble of thunder, but I'm not anticipating any severe weather in green country overnight. All the severe weather got tied up close to this boundary. In fact, when thunderstorms formed out here in western Oklahoma, the boundary started lifting back to the north, and so all of the energy was focused here, and we had nothing to force the air up and get it rising and get the thunderstorms going. So they stayed out here along that boundary. Now we start to watch some showers and thunderstorms out here in southwestern Oklahoma. Again, they'll move to the east, weaken as we head through the overnight hours. But here's the culprit for all of this, this big upper low. And it's going to be spinning across the Midwest tomorrow and into the east. So we're going to have severe weather across the upper Great Lakes and mid Mississippi River Valley tomorrow and into the northeast on Friday. And here we'll watch a zone from Interstate 44 off to the south and east. Really in this yellow area here, there is a slight risk of severe weather tomorrow. We could have a thunderstorm or two that could get a warning on it for some gusty winds and some hail. And you'll note that future track at 2 p.m. as it's pushing through has just a few spotty showers and maybe a couple of more down to the south and east. So we're not getting real excited about the severe weather chances tomorrow. Maybe more so over mid-Missouri, central Arkansas, and into the Ohio and Mississippi River Valley. Most accurate forecast next 24 hours. Couple of showers overnight, 72 at 2 a.m. We're down to 69 by 6 a.m., breezy and humid. Front passes at 2 o'clock. Winds turn to the north. We'll hold steady between 2 and 5, right around 80 to 79 degrees. Less humid tomorrow night at this time. About 66 lows tonight, 68 in Pryor, 67 in Bristow, 68 McAllister. Again, just a chance for uh, rain, maybe a little rumble. Then tomorrow, partly cloudy, 20% chance of rain tomorrow, 80 in Pryor, 77 at Tahlequah, 80 up at Bartlesville. And in Tulsa, we should have a high around 81 degrees. Then 45 as we head into Friday morning, 71 Friday afternoon. Great day on Friday. Saturday looks nice too, 72. Rain returns by Sunday night and Monday rain looks likely and then it looks like it warms back up to about 86 next Wednesday with just a small chance of rain. All right.